The best NFL DFS optimizer got even better for the 2024 NFL DFS season. My name is Jordan Chan. I'm the head coach here at Sabersim, And in this video, I'll walk you through some of the big improvements we've made ahead of this year. Our focus heading into this season was making building NFL DFS lineups with Sabersim more intuitive and streamlined, saving you valuable time for your research or just making it easier to fit NFL DFS into your life. To make Sabersim more intuitive, we took a critical look at the UI of our app and moved key features around so that they show up when you need them to. Rather than having to memorize where all of these different settings you need are, we want them to be right in front of you when you're at the point in your process when you need them. And to streamline the lineup building process, we took big chunks of manual steps that most players have to repeat every single slate they play DFS, and instead built out sophisticated automations in the app to help handle that for you. We also adjusted the visual layout of the app to conserve more space, putting valuable information in front of you when you're building your lineups. I couldn't be more excited for you to get your hands on these big updates yourself, but I want to make sure you're comfortable with what has changed first and know how to fill your first couple slates with new lineups on the all-new SaberSim. So let's jump in and I'll show you how it all works. The first time you load up the new SaberSim, you'll be asked to choose a particular slate. And then from there, you'll be directed to the contest tab for that slate. So we've got the week one NFL Sunday slate pulled up. I'll go ahead and get my entries file loaded up here from DraftKings and get that pulled in. And it brings me to the first change that we've made here and one that I'm pretty excited about. And it's now that the contest sim settings are managed from the contest tab, which makes a lot of intuitive sense, but also your contest sim settings are automatically created when you upload your entries file. We already have all the information about how many entries you're playing in the contest, how large the contest is, the payout structure, and what field we have that best represents the contest. Before, we asked the user to make this, all these different contest sim settings. Now it's automated, saving you quite a bit of time here right off the bat. As we bounce over to the build screen here, you'll see a couple of other changes, but the most important of which is that the build settings pane has been removed, and all of the options that were used to be in the build settings pane have now shown up elsewhere in the app. So in the upper left here, you'll see your number of lineups, which is set to 5,000 by default on the ultimate plan, your min salary and max salary options, and in this little gear setting, your SaberSim slide. Now another big change is we've gotten rid of the contest specific slider dropdowns. They were really just a relic of an earlier era of SaberSim where the Saber score was a lot worse and contest sims didn't exist. And our best lever to change what types of lineups we put in do different contests were the slider dropdowns, but they're not really needed anymore with a better Sabre score or with contest sims. And most of the time we were recommending people just use a something resembling a default value for these sliders anyway. So we went ahead and just turned them into a default. They will still adjust based on the sport and the slate size you're playing, but there's no longer a bunch of different contest specific settings that we, for the most part, weren't recommending people use anyway. Now, if you did have slider settings you liked for particular sports or contest types, you can still make the adjustments to these sliders here, but we've de-emphasized the importance overall of the slider settings as Sabre score and contest sims are far more important now. Over on the right-hand side, you will see this rules dropdown, which is how you control your stacking rules, your group rules, your aggregate rules, as well as your player pool filters here and your build templates, basically making up everything that used to be in the build settings pane. Now, a lot of the other big changes here are actually on the lineups page themselves. So let's go ahead and start building some lineups and take a look and see what that looks like here in just a sec. Now, overall on the lineups pane here is a reorganization of some of the information that you are used to seeing here and a big improvement to the way that you ultimately end up filling your lineups into your contest. So let's break it down here. First, on the left-hand side, this is going to look pretty familiar here. This has not changed too much. You still have the opportunity to make any adjustments to min and max exposures, player projections, anything like that to control what you want to put into your lineups. Over on the right-hand side, we've emphasized the Run Contest Sims button, which will now be enabled by default after you run the build, assuming you've uploaded an entries file, so we can go ahead and get our Contest Sims kicked off. Our My Lineups number here defaults automatically to the number of unique entries that you're playing based on our recommendations that you put a unique lineup into each of your entries. You can, of course, change that, but rather than asking you for that information like the old Sabersim did, we just default that number here. 
You've got aggregate metrics if you want to see characteristics about your lineup portfolio here, lineup filters if you want to filter by any information there, and your lineup sorting method. Your lineup sorting method and this new target field are what really control how your lineups ultimately get entered into your contests. So let's let the contest sims finish up here and I'll explain how that exactly works. Now, one of the big problems with the old Saber Sim and one that you've probably dealt with before is making sure that the right lineups were going into the right contests. I've recorded dozens of videos talking about the value of contest sims, how we can identify the mathematically profitable lineup to play in each of our different contests by running a simulation to see See how each of the lineups in our pool would perform if we played it into that contest. But actually doing this on the old SaberSim app was really difficult and time consuming and very easy to make mistakes. It required you to change the sorting method for as many different contests as you had, manually select the correct contest each time you wanted to fill one, manually delete all the lineups that you're putting into that contest. And most of the time, instead of going through all of that trouble, I just recommended people use one contest sim to fill all of their different contests. But that was at odds with the optimal strategy for how you want to make the most money playing DFS. Contest sims are valuable because you're taking the actual contest payout structures and the expected field and seeing how your lineups would perform in that contest. So we were caught between a rock and a hard place of either following the optimal route in a way that was really time consuming and really easy to make mistakes in SaberSim or following the easy route, which was giving up some edge for a way of filling your lineups that was easier. The new SaberSim makes sure that you don't have to make that choice and instead automates the process of making sure the best lineups end up in the right contests. Now, I'm gonna first show you exactly how to do this and then I'm gonna explain what's going on behind the scenes and some of the other options. So now that our contest sims are complete, we want to change our sorting method here to sort by the contest sim target contest ROI. And what this is gonna do when we first make that change here is sort our lineups by the average ROI, taking the average of each of the ROIs from all of our different contest sims here. So we're identifying roughly the best contests here from the highest ROI lineup to the lowest ROI lineup in our pool. Now, the next thing we want to do here is in this target section, which is the field that controls where our lineups actually end up going. We want to change this to the new multi-fill option, which is a very powerful feature here. And you'll see when we do that, this is going to change from the lineups view to a contest-based view here. From here, I recommend sorting by highest to lowest fee and then clicking save. Now, let me explain what's going on while this is actually happening. This is essentially filling each of our nine contests here by the best possible sorting method and any contest specific min unique settings or exposures that you've set here. So specifically, what just happened when I click saved is first, we sorted by the ROI for the Millimaker, filled my one entry I have in the Millimaker contest, removed that lineup from contention for the rest of this fill, and then resorted my portfolio by the ROI for this Pylon single entry contest. Identified the best possible lineup by that ROI, filled it into that contest, removed that lineup from contention for this fill, and then changed the sorting method to the ROI for the safety put the best 20 lineups into that contest, remove those 20 from the portfolio, and continue down the list until all of my different contests were full. In just one click, I was able to get the best possible lineups here entered into each of the different contests I'm playing while making sure I'm playing a unique lineup into every single entry I've played. If you've ever attempted to do that process on the old Saber Sim, you know how tedious and time consuming it was. And in this example here, we're getting the best possible lineup here into each of our contests here without having to go through all of the trouble that you have on the old version. Now, the best part about this is you don't have to give up any control at all. If you like to tinker and make adjustments to min and max exposures, those min and max exposures will be adhered to as we fill each contest in your lineup portfolio. You can also change your sorting method. So if you want to fill some of these contests by something like projected score or a custom metric, you can make those adjustments here. And you can also handle min uniques either at the global level, changing the min uniques of all of your different contests at once, or at an individual contest level, changing the min uniques for your multi-fill for each individual contest. Part of the reason we're so excited about this update is because you're no longer having to decide between having a lot of control 
making sure that you're playing the optimal lineup in each entry and having a process that is time efficient and not overly tedious. Now you can do all three of those things at once. You can have just as much control over your overall portfolio, make sure you're playing the best possible lineup in each entry and do it in just a couple clicks. Now that is in general how I recommend you fill your entries with the new SaberSim and how I'll re be recommending people do this in all of my new strategy videos. But I do want to explain a little bit more about some of the other things you see in this new lineups pane, just so you have a good sense of what's going on. Now the download CSV option is pretty straightforward. If you choose that, you're just going to download a lineups CSV here of your lineups file. And if you click favorites, yet it's going to send your lineups to the favorites category. Those two things work about the same way they do on the old version of SaberSim. Multi-fill is the new one. We just walked through that. Single fill is going to essentially fill your lineups the way that the old SaberSim does. So for your first couple builds, there's certainly nothing wrong with just doing a single fill here. The way I've done this in the past is single fill and a unique random fill, which in this case would put a unique lineup from each, from my 236 different lineups here into my 236 entries. And it would just be a random lineup from my top 236 would go into each of these. But I am giving up that contest specific optimization where I'm putting the best possible lineup into each contest that I'm playing. Now, again, it's perfectly fine to use single fill for your first couple of fills, but I would definitely jump over to multi-fill soon because you are going to squeeze out some extra edge in making sure that the best possible lineup is going to each of your contests. And if you're not on the SaberSim Ultimate plan, don't worry, it's still worth using the multi-fill here. You just instead be using the Saber score as your sorting method instead of the contest sim ROI. One other important change here is after you have saved your lineups to your entries file, the download button is tucked over here in the upper left next to the contest button here, which is going to download your entries file and bring you to DraftKings or FanDuel or whatever site you're playing on there to get it uploaded. Now this really is just the tip of the iceberg here. These new updates also come with dozens of other UX improvements, visual bug fixes, and of course, powerful new updates under the hood to our projections, ownership projections, and NFL game sims to make them better than ever. I'm stoked for this season of NFL DFS with the all new SaberSim helping me build my lineups and make sure the best possible lineups are getting into each of my contests. You can get started with a free five day trial on our site at sabersim.com. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck this season.